Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Laliko. So during the mm, toughest time in Kuwait lockdown, we had to make an appointment that matched our ID. You could only make one appointment a week to go to a local grocery store and only give you options near your house. Quickly inside the co-op, which was my closest store. It was a rolling together store and it never existed before the outbreak. You've got once a week. This is the stock that we happen to have during your appointment time. Take it or leave it. Be sure to check out my previous video of what it's like going outside when there is nobody else around because we all have to stay inside. Now, this is my designated zone. Because <laughs> then I can just spray and wipe that off when I'm finished unpacking. Alright, wash my hands. <sighs> Everything I'm wearing is just going straight into the wash. Only <laughs> the last time I went, when there was no milk, there was no bread, there was no cheese, which are pretty staple items for this region. There was no fruit, there was no vegetables. But we can't get out of our suburb. And it's been like this for weeks. But there is a literal fence around possible exits to the suburb. I'm spraying like my wallet. I'm spraying like my phone. Okay, so what did I end up with? Grades, yes. Please do not mock me, but I have an obscene amount of chocolate bars for one person an obscene amount. <laughs> I am such a nibbler. I've got some feta cheese which I'm so excited about to go with my eggs. I finally got some really expensive salt. Because I used to get delivery a lot then I have these little sachets of salt and pepper that I've been working my way through. Chocolate cupcakes now. I don't particularly like these because there's so much packaging. Um, they also do this with croissants but they didn't have any. I really don't like these. I don't know how. American chocolate tea is so weird to me. I'm so pleased about the receipt which is all in Arabic that I cannot read. I spent 16 to 80. So let's throw this bag in the wash. This is obscene. I'm one person. I don't need this much. I don't. I know this. Let alone, I bought two packets. Okay, one of them's fruit and nut, one of them's hazelnut. But I was never the sort of person that would sit down and have like two chocolate bars in a day. And oh, so what is it to say? Yes, there are dry ingredients, but because I'm walking, because I'm on foot, it's really hot outside and it's far and it's hot. And not that I am the most amazing cook at all because I really don't get any joy from cooking I don't like it also not like it's not like at home where this, this standard size like one kg two kg remember the families here are really big so sometimes the fruit and vegetables come and like like there was rock melon today I love rock melon I don't need three of them they were pre-packaged in a box of three some peaches which I can put on my porridge finally so last last time but like on the panic buy I bought this which has been so boring but I must say quite filling so as I said they're all pre-packaged the fruit and veggies so I've never made popcorn like this for since I was a kid sharp checks veins Again, that'll go with my eggs. <laughs> so I have eggs, I could have bought another one. This is really how I survived. This is really what I should put is my food for during quarantine. Huge amount of eggs and some two minute noodles. Oh, and my porridge. Eggs, baked beans, feta cheese, and chopped spinach. I'm so excited to have vegetables. I already have a couple from last time that I haven't eaten yet because a friend of mine sent me a picture the other day when she went out for dinner and she had chips and a burger and I went oh my god I'm dying so now I've got cheese that I can put on my chips because they come in a four pack I'm 
like I already have one in my freezer. I don't need another four. That shopping during the virus, I wish it was more exciting. 2,000 steps. Most days I haven't even broke 100 steps.